Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is the video for the Food Web Escape Room. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where it's at. We're going to click here on Module C. We're going to click here on Unit 1, Lesson 3. We're going to scroll down. You don't have the stuff that's in gray, so um, you did Bill Nye yesterday, so you'll do Food Web Escape Room. We have several different things here. So let's go ahead and open up our task cards and let's kind of talk through this. So, um, so in level one, it says, which organism is a tertiary consumer? And we talked a little bit about this in class. So you have a, a primary consumer eats uh, producers, a secondary consumer eats primary consumers, and then so on, okay? So a primary consumer is going to be a rabbit. A secondary consumer is going to be something that eats a rabbit, like maybe a snake. And then a tertiary consumer. Um, well, actually, for this, the, the snake would be a tertiary consumer. So for this level, the snake is the tertiary consumer. Level one, which organism is a producer? A producer makes its own food through photosynthesis, so you should be able to work that out here which is not a primary consumer. So that would be something that does not, that eats more than just uh, plants. So let's say a bird eats insects, squirrels eat nuts. So squirrel is probably primary consumer. Rabbit's probably primary consumer. Um, I would say the bird is not a primary consumer. So that's C. And then which organism is a quaternary consumer? Um, that's tough. Uh, let's see. So owls eat snakes. Um, let's, see. Uh, let's say D. D is going to be your quaternary consumer. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down and see what else we can work with, which is not a secondary consumer. So like the rabbit is a primary consumer because it eats grass. Um, so we're looking at stuff that like this guy, frogs eat insects, wolves eat other prey, and foxes eat other prey. So I believe that this is C, since the rabbit is a primary consumer. How many organisms make up the longest food chain in the food web? Um, so the answer to this, just because you, you may not know, is five. Okay, we're going to do an activity later where we have four levels, but five is the longest food chain in a food web. Uh, what is the original source of energy for all organisms in this food web? So you have to think about what plants need to make food, and you'll be able to answer that. How many different food chains can you identify in this food web? So in this food web, what they're looking at is they're looking at, let's see if I can go back, different food chains in, I think I put it in decoder cards. Okay, and I think it's the last, okay, different food webs or food chains in this food web. So like there's one, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if I'm even close. Where were we at? Oh. Okay, I got seven. Is that right? No, that's not right. That's, it's eight. There's one more that I didn't get. So that's eight. Okay, so that's level two. Level three says, how would bacteria, which is a decomposer, fit into this food web? So that's also the food web we were just looking at. So let's see what our answers are. It says, no energy would flow to bacteria. Every organism would have a flow of energy arrow leading to bacteria. Bacteria would have a flow of energy arrow, arrow leading to to every organism only the plant would have okay so every organism has to die and the bacteria gets its energy from that dead organism so the answer here is c what would most likely be worse for this food web the removal of the owl or the rabbit and why okay so we really need to go back to that food web so let me let me open another I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but I don't think you need to see it. Let's hope. Here's to hoping. Uh, let's go down to escape. And I want to see the food web card. La la la. There you are. Let's 
flip this. Okay, let's go back to the question. The question said, which is worse, the removal of the owl or the rabbit? So let's see. The owl is here, so all of these, all of these, all of these rely on the owl. Okay, and the rabbit, it's just this. Okay, so I think the owl would be worse. So let's see if that's one of our... The owl, other organisms can still get food without the rabbit. It is at the top of the food chain. Um, so that's... Oh, I did that wrong. That is number two on level three. It's actually the rabbit because it's like if the plant were gone, none of these would be here. I flipped it. I'm sorry. So uh, it would be the rabbit because the snake, the fox, and the wolf all rely on the rabbit. Whereas just the snake and the, I mean, the owl, he would find another source. So it's going to be the rabbit, and that's A. The rabbit, three animals depend upon it. Which organisms would be most harmed if the grasshopper pop? grasshopper population decline. So let's take a look at that food web we're here. So it looks like the frog and the bird rely on the grasshopper and then the snake relies on the frog and the bird. So let's see what our options are. Frog, snake, and bird, plant. The, the plant's not in there. Uh, owl, snake, and fox. So bird and frog would boast, would, it's D. So immediately that. And then organism, which organism only provides energy for one other organism in this food web? Let's see, just for one other organism. Squirrel, deer, oops, escape. What are my options? Frog, snake, plant, grasshopper, frog. Frog provides for everything. Snake uh, provides for owl. Um, I don't remember what, Snake grasshopper. I think it's snake because the frog provides food for the snake. Let's see. Let me go back. I keep forgetting my. Okay, it is snake. All right. And then on to level four, uh, which is not an example of a food chain where energy flows to the owl. So plant, squirrel, bird, snake, owl, plant, rabbit, snake, owl, plant, grasshopper. We kind of need this to be, okay. Plant, squirrel, owl, plant, squirrel, bird, snake, owl, well, plant, squirrel, that doesn't exist. Oh, it's A, okay. That makes sense because it doesn't go through the bird, snake. How would a plant benefit as animals in this food web die. So more plants would grow due to the lower amount of animals feeding on them. A plant would not benefit at all. A plant would gain nutrients from the decomposing animals. It's gonna be that one. And then which is not an herbivore uh, in this food web? So which one of these does not eat grass? Okay, and then in this one, which is not a carnivore? So which one of these does not eat meat? Okay, level five, how many food chains is the grasshopper part of? So grasshopper is here, so we have this one, and we have this one. I wanna say two, but I'm not sure if that's on level five. It's three, good grief, I'm always one off. So that's gonna be three. How many food chains is the bird part of? Okay, let me see if I can get this one, so bird. So we have one. Is it one or is it two? Because I need to add one. Let's see. So question two is, it is one. Yay, I got that one right. Okay. All right, level five. Name the organism to which energy passes from the frog. So what eats the frog? The snake eats the frog. Okay. So that's going to be, hmm. What else eats the frog? Does anything else eat the frog? <coughs> Wait a minute. The snake and the fox. I did not even see that arrow. Okay. So that's going to be B. And then the last question, it says, what would happen to the wolf population if the deer population completely died out? So deer here, if deer goes away, what happens to the wolf population? The wolf population would die out. The wolves would definitely survive because they can get food from the rabbit population. 
wolves would begin to eat foxes? It's hard to know for sure because wolves can still get food from the rabbit population. So the answer to that is D. And to make sure that you get all of these correct, you'll go to the escape room and you'll have to use your decoders. But um, after, you, after you have your ABCD for each of your questions, you can use your decoder and put in your four digit code. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.